guys, this is my first vlog photo tutorial. A lot of people have been asking me how do I get my images to look so warm or how do I tone my images and I'm going to show you how I tone my images with curves. First thing, obviously open up a curve and I want to start with the contrast to the image so a lot of people like to pull this up and make an S-curve. I pull it straight up to about here. I don't really like to go above because it kind of blows out the shadows a little too much for me. I'll pull this down to get more shadowy, like a little more contrasty. Just past the midtones, I'm going to pull up. And then the highlights, I'm going to pull down a little. And then right here in between the midtones and the highlights, I play around with it. I haven't really seen too many people do this. I'm, I'm sure. Tons of people do it, but there's no right or wrong there. So that's how I build the contrast. I like to build the contrast in Photoshop because I just don't like the way curves work in Lightroom. Um, from here, I'll open up another curves, and this is how I tone my images. So we'll go ahead and rename this toning. Um, I want to make these highlights warmer and I want to bring the highlights down a bit a little bit because I don't want them to be super bright. I want the image to be a little softer. So I'll start in the reds and if I bring this left it makes it a little bit more red. If you go down to blue, the opposite of blue is yellow so if you pull this blue down it'll make it a bit more yellow. And then in the RGB curve we're gonna bring down just the highlights alright so now that we have our coloring kinda of where we want it I don't want this coloring to be applied to the shadows so what we're gonna do is double click this toning layer uh, make sure you don't double click on this square or this square double click on the right side of it and it will open up your layer style and I'll move this over just so you get Oh, let's see if I can figure this out. I guess I can't drink it. So, in layer style, we're going to go to all the way at the bottom where it says underlying layer. The left side that's black represents the shadows, and the right side that's white represents the highlights. So since we want this toning to be only applied to the highlights, we're going to drag it away from the shadows. Hold your option key and click the right side of this arrow. Bring this all the way to the right. This one right here, now we're gonna see where the adjustment starts to come in. And if you pull it to the right, let's see if you can see it. I know it's kind of faint, I don't like to be super harsh, but we're gonna keep this a little visible. So this is where the shadows start to stop. And that's where I want to bring this arrow, wherever the shadows start to stop. So if your shadows end here, then kind of bring it around there. We're just trying to get that orangey color away from the, the shadows. So I like this. After this, I would maybe add a little grain or I might add a little more contrast. Something around here. And right there, I'm good. If you guys want to know what I do in Lightroom beforehand to kind of get this image to where it needs to be, I'll be doing a tutorial on that probably next. And then over the next few weeks, I'm going to do a few more t tutorials and then I'm going to take you through a few different samples of images, say landscape, portrait, um, maybe some detail shots, and I'll do my entire front to back how I edit. Right now I'm just going to keep it very specific with different tools that I use to kind of get my desired effect on my image. But for today it's just toning. So I hope this helps you guys. Peace!